As we try to understand the tragedy that unfolded in Orlando over the weekend, we turn to Dr. Vonda Pelto. Vonda counseled some of the worst serial killers in our country's history at Men's Central Jail. Dr. Pelto, we wanted to know, given your background with serial killers, is there a big difference between the mind, the inner workings of a serial killer and a mass killer? Yes, there is. Typically, a mass killer is more impulsive and he wants to make a big splash all at one time and doesn't really expect to get out of the situation alive. Whereas the serial killer is a more patient person, and the thing he wants to do is hopefully last for years and years. He doesn't want to get caught, and he doesn't expect to. He's much more methodical, much more cautious, where the mass murderer is angry about something, and he wants to kill as many at one time as he possibly can. And he does expect to get killed, so he doesn't think he's ever going to get out of it. It was interesting that the FBI director, James Comey, while briefing the press on the investigation into this shooting, he would not use the name of the killer. And he said that he didn't want to do that because he believed it would give him publicity and bring up copycats. Do you think there is something to that? Absolutely. They want to go down in history for something. And if they do a mass murder, they figure that their name will be in the archives for many, many years. They are publicity hounds. The serial killer isn't. He enjoys some publicity, but he still wants to stay very secretive so he doesn't get caught. So does the media play a role in this? Yes, I I truly believe they do. The more attention these guys get, the more they enjoy it. Bill Bonin, the freeway killer, actually would check the newspapers every day He loved that publicity. He didn't want to get caught, but he loved the publicity. The killer made a couple of 911 calls before the shooting, claiming his allegiance to terrorist organizations. Vonda, do you think that the killings, from your professional insight, were related to terrorism and to religion? Or was there a hook in this about homosexuality? I really, from what I've read and know of this fellow, I feel like he's probably a closet homosexual and that his his father had stated that a couple of weeks ago he became enraged when he saw two men kissing. And shortly after that, he did buy the guns and he did target Holtz, the gay hangout. And I think he was dealing with his own religion and his feelings of being a homosexual and took it out on these people. Dr. Vonda Pelto, thank you so much for being with us. You're very welcome, Molly.